What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we've got some more F1 2019 news. This time it came a little bit left of field. I wasn't expecting this at all. Um, as I'm speaking right now, as you're watching this, there is an event going down right now in Germany, in Hamburg. Uh, for F1 2019, it's a preview event. There's a lot of German media and stuff there. Uh, Lee Mather is there. A few people from Codemasters are there and they're basically showing off the game. So we're getting that close to the game, game release. Um, so much so that we're gonna see gameplay now. So um, yeah, as we speak, they're recording gameplay, I would say, but um, there was also a few teasers from Kosh Media, who do like the publishing for the F1 games. They tweeted out a few photos, and so we have some leaks. I say leaks, they just shouted it out themselves, so obviously it's okay. So yeah, we're gonna talk about those, those uh, pertaining to uh, new features which you would have seen in the title of the video, multiplayer, which is stuff that I am really, really excited about. So let's get into it. So here's the screenshots I've got from Twitter. It's basically from Kosh Media UK. So if you wanna go follow them, by, by all means, have a look if you wanna see this news for yourself. But uh, basically, yeah, this is the event in Germany. Uh, F1 2019 branding all over the place. They've got a lot of rigs set up. They'll have some uh, some gamepads set up as well on Xbox, PS4, whatever platform they decide to bring. It tends to be the case of what happens. So what happens at these kind of events? Um, Lee Mather will kind of introduce the game and give you a briefing about what to expect and what you should uh, look out for in your gameplay session to record. And um, yeah, in those screenshots, that's where um, the big details have come from. We've got this old F1 car which re looks really sick. That's really cool. There's Lee Mather himself on camera. And uh, you can see here in this first screenshot that he's telling everyone about F1 2019 Legends Edition. But if you were to see my video from the other day, you will have already known about this. So you guys are already, you know, in the know when it comes to that sort of thing. But the, um, the big thing uh, that we're, you know, making this video about is theater mode coming F1 2019. So, uh, from what we can see here, it says uh, generated automatically post race highlights and very exciting moments. Now, this doesn't say online. I'm guessing this is single player, but I hope it's online as well. We'll have to wait and see. Um, hero shots and slow motion effects, and you can export to video on your PC from uh, the, the highlights rule that you've got there. Now, I've started to implement some of this actually into my own videos. I've decided to, you know, try and be a bit more cinematic with the way I introduce videos. And I hope you guys have noticed, um, but um, looks like this is gonna be the standard now when it comes to F1 2019. And I'm really, really excited because it means I can up my video quality even more. But fingers crossed, this is a feature in online. If we can have a highlights and see some of the crashes, some of the moments, that'd help out massively for the esports potential for league racing, uh, finding incidents and stuff like that, even if it's like boring moments, I mean, even if it's, if you exclude all the boring moments and you can just see crashes, that's gonna help massively with, not only for me, like recording my own videos, but yeah, like I said, for people finding incidents and finding who was at fault for all that kind of thing, it's just really, really cool. And I believe I have talked about this in previous uh, ideas videos, taking inspiration from NASCAR, for example, like when a, uh, a safety car or a caution comes out, sometimes you'll get the instant replay or a kill cam, if you like, of um, the, the thing that actually caused the incident. But we get to see it at the end of the race now, which is sick. Okay, so the other thing which you would have noticed in that screenshot, super license updates. And, you know, that's something we're grinding for at the moment as well with my Road to Master rank, which isn't going so swimmingly at the moment. Um, more update on that later. So we have a new league race attendance rating. Uh, again, catering to the league races, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, there's going to be some kind of bonus or something, something that's really cool to help those guys out, or at least it shows who attends league races more. I suppose that's you know that is a bit left of field, but hey ho, how am I to judge? Um, we now have a trophy cabinet, which is something I've been harping on about for the last few years a lot. Um, uh, of course, I took inspiration from F1 2006, F1 Championship Edition, um, where you go around in your career mode and you try and earn trophies at every single track. And, you know, it just motivates you to keep playing the game more. And now that is a feature in F1 2019, which is absolutely awesome. So uh, how I'd imagine that would work is you'll have a trophy to, to win at every single racetrack. Um, maybe you'll get a first, second, and third trophy. And I guess the game will be to get the, the wins at every single circuit. Um, so that'll be sick. Maybe fastest laps, who knows? But 
Um, they're implementing more features that are going to enable people to play the game for longer, and I'll certainly uh, revel in trying to grind and get every single trophy at all the circuits. Uh, under that, they also have a game statistics showcase. Um, so what I'm guessing is having like lots of uh, detailed stats, hopefully a leaderboard uh, that you can compare online with. Again, this is another feature that I, I'm not blowing my own trumpet because a lot of other people have said these things as well. But these are some of the features that I've really, really cared passionately about for the last few years. And that is being able to compare your stats with other people, see how your progress is going. Uh, comparing wins, fastest laps, I don't know, crashes, podiums, races entered, so many other things. I love looking at them in the current ranked mode of multiplayer, but now it looks like this is going to be more of a thing in this game, which is absolutely awesome. And again, uh, it says comparable with other races, so there you go. Um, just adding to the amount of spectrum uh, and gives a new dimension to the uh, online side of things, which has been a long time coming, let me tell you. Hmm. I just read on Twitter that um, F1 Mobile Racing is get a, getting a 2019 season update. So there you go, in other news. And finally, uh, this is what we have up till this point. There could be more tweets that come out over the course of the day, in which case I will update you on Twitter, or maybe you can just go follow them on Twitter. I don't really mind. But uh, again, this is pertaining to multiplayer. Customization, Lee Mather is going over this slide where he talks about uh, yeah, how you can customize the multiplayer car through custom liveries. Um, some of which we've seen some new liveries. You can see one on screen there that looks like a kind of tiger print in uh, different shades of blue and purple, which looks uh, pretty sick. So there's at least more than two uh, different designs we can pick from, which is nice. Uh, you, he also goes on to say you can customize your driver suit, gloves, helmet, and badge, which uh, I'm guessing is kind of like you see like your emblem on Call of Duty, for example. So. Yeah, an added level of customization, which is really nice. Really sick to see that we can do the driver suit customizations, glove, and hopefully this means we have even more control over what we can do with the helmets. Uh, that being having sponsors on the helmet. A lot of people have been talking about that over the last few years, and uh, it, the player helmets do look very bare without uh, sponsors, so hopefully we can have our own on there now. And uh, just overall being able to edit more things, uh, maybe even be able to design our own um, paint scheme, that would be nice, but who knows, it, it is a step in the right direction, I suppose. And finally, you can now purchase all of these customization options with competition points won via multiplayer. So, even more incentive to keep playing multiplayer is, yeah, you'll uh, earn these points for completing races, for, fe for beating other players, and uh, yeah, the more you play, the more options you'll have, which is really, really sick, and this is a really long time coming. They should have done this years ago, but it's great to see that they're uh, addressing this now. And I can tell you already that F1 2019 multiplayer is going to be the best we've ever seen. At least for a casual fan, I don't know uh, how the connection is going to be. Hopefully that's fine, fingers crossed. But uh, at least we're getting the uh, casual implementations that are going to keep people playing multiplayer over the course of the whole year, which is something that I'm really excited about. But... Guys, that has been this video for today. Like I said, uh, it's only midday uh, as of me recording this right now. The, the event is still going on, so there could be more news that leaks. If there is, I'll tweet about it on Twitter, or maybe I'll make another video. So make sure you stay subscribed. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And that'll really help me out. And um, it'll just enable me to make more F1 2019 news videos like this one when it breaks. So that's it from me today. F1 2019 gameplay will be coming very, very soon, and I'll try and get some for you guys as soon as I humanly can. But that's it. Let me know what you're excited for, and I'll see you for a brand new video very soon. Until the next one, it's goodbye.